Hey fellas, this is 265 Chevy here at Two Car Garage. I probably should say Two Car Garage and House. Well, it's March 15th, it's Friday. Got to work tomorrow. Uh, let me show y'all what I've been doing. Let's take a walk. Well, first of all, uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Started with the windows. And... Got that first window. It ain't complete, it's about 80%, 85%, but I took that whole thing down, took the windows out of it, reglazed it, primed it, put new glass, sand the whole, all the wood, all the way down to bare wood. Now I still gotta, see, uh, fill the holes today. Still gotta caulk it, still gotta prime it one more time, let it dry. I let that glazing dry and I got to put uh, sash cords in it and that's only one of eight took a little while it's a lot of work if you're gonna refurbish those windows well with the car I got the glass out the hatch so a friend of mine came over and we got that done so that glass is out and I'm happy to say that the hatch it's no longer on top of the Chevelle. Top of the Chevelle is totally clear. It's all clear. So, I was thinking. Of course, y'all know that I'm going to start with the Firebird first. And I try to think of a game plan on how to attack this thing. And so I started digging through some boxes and, and everything else like that. So, what I decided to do is I'm gonna put the motor in first so got the motor unwrapped looks pretty good it's been sitting a while I have turned it periodically now every now and then I'm gonna do it to turn it today you know spray it down with a little bit more WD-40 and all that other good stuff but um, it looks pretty good don't look as like any uh, you know, rust on it or anything else like that. I had like three bags on it and everything. So, the plan is to start looking at the pieces, cleaning the pieces, painting the pieces. Called up Andrea, ordered some single stage black so I could paint the valve covers. And you can look at the valve covers. They're not in very good shape. Ordered some single stage black, some primer, some edge coat. Well, I wanted to edge coat. Woo hoo! Um, and talked to Andrea, and uh, you know, she kind of told me the process, even though I've never done this before. I'm going to attempt it. Same thing with the oil pan. Looks pretty bad. You know, so, uh, the inside looks good. I cleaned that pretty well. The same thing with the with the valve covers. The valve covers on the inside look pretty good. Got a little surface rust. So I'm gonna take them down. I'm gonna soak them into a little uh, phosphate. Try to get all the, the rust off of them if there's any rust. And uh, there's all kind of trash in there. But uh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, got the manifold out. I already kind of cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, that was before, after I took it down, kind of cleaned it up. This needs the front cover for the timing chain. And I was amazed. Some of it is bagged and tagged, and some bags just has a bunch of crap in it. This is a lot of crap. That's <laughs> a lot of parts, but uh, I must have learned from my Chevelle that uh, I needed to bag and tag because I didn't bag and tag anything for the Chevelle. It's just all in buckets and this, that, and every other thing. That's going to be a monster to put back together. But uh, here is uh, all pan bolts, intake manifold bolts right here. I don't even know what the hell this is, or well, you know, all this, but um, we'll figure it out. But uh, 
my whole game plan. I figured now if anybody has a better idea, please uh, let me know. But my whole game plan is to, well, first thing I'm going to do is roll this out, clean it up, wash it and everything. So I'll have a, a clean thing to start, especially in the engine bay. And I figured I'll put the heart back into the body and start building around the heart. You know, uh, at least uh, if I can figure out where things go, I can bolt them in place and they'll be out, you know, out of here. This is why it was so important for me to clean this garage because I knew I was going to have a lot of pieces and parts laying around and, you know, I just didn't want to have to deal with looking for them all. I want to be able to put them in one place and one place only. So, uh, just kind of want to let y'all know what, you know, what y'all going to be seeing. Going to be working on the windows. Uh, that's going to be an ongoing process. All during the week, I worked on the day and at night. I worked a little bit in the garage, but I tell you what, fellas, I was tired. And all during the week, I was getting bids for that monstrosity. So, I had people coming over and had to go up and down and tell them what I want done and everything else like that. So, I got that in the works. Um, so, uh, I don't know, that's going to be done before May or after we get back from Florida. You know, we, uh, Getting some pretty weird bids. We're real high and we're real low. So I'm kind of waiting to get some more. See if I can get the ones in the middle. But um, that's about it. Of course, uh, I have the trusty book out. Been reading through this a little bit. Trying to familiar, familiarize myself with it. Um, Smoking Sammy. I've been watching your vids uh, doing that uh, transmission. And I've been noticing on your computer that um, you were kind of like having diagrams on that car you're doing. Is there a link that you go to that I can maybe uh, look at different diagrams for this car? I'm also going to go to the junkyard and go take a video of a car that's put, still somewhat put together so I have an idea. But um, the engine. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna paint parts as it goes. Uh, it gives me a little experience on painting and stuff like that. I ain't building no spray booth or anything else like that. I'm just gonna push the car out of here and set up a spot and <laughs> spray it. You know, uh, might you know something like that. I don't know, but uh, I don't think it should have too much overspray with single stage. I ain't clearing or anything. Uh, Andrew's telling me I need a, probably a 1.8 tip. I think I have that. But, uh, man, these parts are filthy. Filthy dirty. I got a lot of cleaning to do. Some sandblasting to do. So, uh, I'm just going to be making vids as, you know, pieces are going on. Um, you know, I'll show you some pieces and parts after they painted and cleaned up and stuff like that. Show you all some vids that way and uh, see how everything goes. But I just wanted to make a vid. I wanted to tell Andrew and you know, Darren, thank you very much. I didn't have a chance to talk to Darren, but I probably will. You know, let him give me a couple of uh, pointers on what to look for and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not gonna base coat it and clear coat it. <laughs> not gonna do that, fellas. I'm just gonna put single stage on it and let it rock and roll, you know. I just want to kind of get this car done and get it out my way and so I'll be able to move it so I can get to this thing. But I can tell you now it's going to take a little while. I got to really kind of inspect. Uh, and here's another question for y'all. This motor's been sitting up for a long time. You know, I probably had it rebuilt in 2006. Somewhere around there. So six or seven years I rebuilt this thing. And... Um, um, I mean, I had the, you know, I had the, the block and everything went through and stuff like that. So I put it all together and I was wondering if there's anything y'all think that I should do. Now I've built a, a few, you know, 327s and stuff like that, but I'm not a motor guy. You know, I kind of just know how to take shit apart and put it back together how I took it apart, but 
you know, uh, questions like how long can a motor sit together with, you know, being just turned every now and then. I know Darren was having problems with his springs and stuff like that, but this is pretty much just a stock 3.4. Um, so if anybody can answer that question for me, um, maybe I'll get Viper Tech, uh, Viper Mech, uh, a tell, see if he can look at the video and, and ask him. I'm pretty sure that it should be okay because I've seen motors sat around for a pretty long time and then put a little oil in it or whatever and crank it to, to crank it up. But uh, I would hate to put this thing in and then have to yank it back out again. You know, so uh, if anybody got a little info on that on that area, please let me know. If there's anything that I should check before I start drawing this together. It's going to be a little while before I throw it together because I got to clean some parts and paint some parts and stuff like that. And then I'll, you know, uh, motor mounts and everything else like I said before. So, uh, give me y'all input. I really appreciate it. So, uh, so this is 265 Chevy, going to be signing off. My wife is coming home from her, her dad's. Still in the uh, rehabilitation center, still dealing with that. Um, so uh, my daughter's riding in the parade tomorrow. So we, I'm gonna go see her, see her on that. She should really have a good, have fun St. Patrick's Day parade. So that should be fun um, watching her. Um, that's about it, fellas. Really don't have too much to say. I mean, windows are pretty boring. Cleaning parts is going to be pretty boring. But let me set some stuff up so I can get some stuff soaking. And uh, go upstairs and take a shower and call it a day. But that's where I'm at. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, and I'll see y'all. I'll talk to y'all on Mumble. Later. Here's me again, fellas. <clears throat> Look, when I was looking through the parts. Check this out. This is a water passage. I don't know if y'all can see that. That one to the right, it's somewhat open. But the one right here, it's totally clogged. I mean, totally. That is unbelievable how bad that is. You should see the trash. I can't see it, but we're gonna look up in there. Look at the trash. Look at that tube. Should be you see that. Look at that. Look how bad that is. I got another tube like this, and I got another one of these like this already, brand new. I don't even know how this car ran. I mean, I bought it used, but. Never had no overheating issues. But, um, I just thought y'all might want to see that. <laughs> Looking through all these parts. Um, got a lot of everything because I took apart a 93 Firebird that had a 3.4 in it. But, uh, those parts are somewhere else. These are all 94 parts. I just wanted to throw that at y'all, show y'all that, you know. I guess I wasn't taking my care of my car properly. That's what happens when you don't. You know, I thought uh, I was doing the right things, but apparently I wasn't. But, um, all right, later.